Hello, my friends. Today, we will continue our topic from last Friday. So let's first briefly review what we have discussed. We have a right triangle ABC. Its inscribed circle is tangent to the hypotenuse AC at point D. Next to the triangle, we use the lengths of N and CD as the side lengths to plot two squares AEFD and DGHC. We have proved that the triangles ABC and EDH have the equal area. If we iterate such operations, we can get a series of triangles and a series of corresponding inscribed circles. We thus know all those triangles have the equal area. And today, we are going to prove that, unless the original triangle is isosceles right, the inscribed circles will become smaller and smaller. Ready? Let's go. By denoting the lengths in the same way, we have this important conclusion in the same form as last time. We know that, S times D is the area, which is a constant. So when the summation of S and T increases, the radius of the inscribed circle, R, must decrease. Otherwise, S times T would increase as well, rather than keep as a constant. Therefore, in the following, what we need to prove is only that. The summation of S and T increases in the new triangle. We start from the legs of triangle. In the original one, they are S plus R, and, D plus R, respectively. And in the new triangle, they become square root of 2 times S, and square root of 2 times T. We calculate the difference between the two legs. In the original triangle, it's the difference between S and T, and in the new one, it becomes square root of 2 times their difference. That means, unless S is equal to T. In other words, the original triangle is isosceles right. The difference between the two legs will increase. Remember that, the square of S and T summation is equal to the square of their difference, plus 4 times S times T. And S times T is a constant, so when the difference between S and T increases, the summation between S and T also increases. So R really decreases. We thus proved it. If we were curious about the exact size of the inscribed circle, the proving process would be a little bit more complicated. But the common point is that we still start from this important conclusion, that, S times T equals to R times the summation between S and T, and plus R square. From this, we can calculate the exact radius of the inscribed circle. To make life easier, we use the expression of its diameter in the comparison. In the new triangle, the diameter can be directly calculated by using Pythagorean theorem. Those are the two we aim to compare. To this end, we add up, S plus T, and plus square root of the summation of twice S square and twice D square. It turns out that we should compare those two terms. They are both positive, so we can calculate the square of them, and get these two. By subtracting 3 times square of S plus T, we further get these two. By calculating the square again, we arrive at here. Just expanding them a little bit, we are here. By subtracting the first common term on both sides, we get some simpler forms. And at last, by dividing them by twice ST, we are in fact comparing the summation of S square and T square, with twice S times T. If you remember that, unless S equals to T, the square of the difference between S and T is bigger than zero. You can track back all the comparisons, and prove that, the diameter of the inscribed circle is bigger than the new one. So we proved it again in the second way. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.